welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is a weekend reading and productivity vlog. It is 8.48 on Friday morning. I just uh, attempted to donate blood and for the first time in a few years, my hemoglobin was too low. We tried we tried two fingers, get two band-aided fingers there and I'm like mild anemic low. Not just, you have to be, your, your hemoglobin has to be high enough that it's safe for you to donate blood and not put yourself into jeopardy um so they test it every time and I'm actually like not even like too low but like too little too low to donate but like too low like I don't know what's going on so anyway um I got two owie fingers now and uh, no no blood to donate so that's a bummer so I'm gonna head back home my uh, youngest niece is with me for the day she's five she's in the kindergarten but she's in like a hybrid program so she's only actually at school Monday or Tuesday Wednesday Thursday so big brother and big sister are at school but I've got the five-year-old with me she was having kind of a tough time when I was leaving she was like I want daddy kind of thing put on Bluey, of course, the comfort. I'm like, I'm bummed that I'm missing Bluey. It's a new episode, I haven't seen it. So maybe she'll rewatch it with me later. If you know, you know. But um, reading and moving, purging, I'm still doing that kind of thing. So um, we're very much moving forward with the sale of the house and purchasing the house on, um, I'll actually be my nieces and nephews neighbor. Um, moving into the house I'll be buying a house on the street that I grew up on the cul-de-sac I grew up on from the original owner so I've known them for 38 years they're moving up to Oregon and um, they have a great property um, some updates to the house and uh, yeah so just really looking forward um, to well looking forward to being there if I could like snap my fingers and just be in the new house that'd be amazing because you know this whole process is not fun but got a lot of work done yesterday like the last week um really been essentially what we're trying to do is get the house ready to be shown so it's going to take a lot of purging it's going to take a lot of decluttering depersonalizing that kind of thing i have this entire wall full of bookshelves like a really long living room wall completely like wall to wall of bookshelves and then on the very end of it one end there's actually the kids toys and one end there was um like three of the skinny Billy book cases of DVDs. So I just took those in yesterday, DVDs, Blu-rays, and video games. Got like 90 bucks, 85 bucks in um, for selling those, so that's not bad. I've got, I think, three or four more bags to take to half price books today. Um, I need to check actually in my office closet to see if I have any textbooks that I can get rid of because that'll, that'll, that'll uh, add to it as well. So, yeah, that's what's going on book-wise. Um, ever since I did the 24-hour reading vlog or readathon on April 3rd, I just really slowed down my reading. It was like, yeah, I did this amazing, like, read three and a half books in, in the course of, like, a day and a half, and then I've hardly read anything since. So um, I'm still I'm a little over, over halfway through The Samurai's Garden. I'm also reading Tim Alberta's The Kingdom, The Power, and The Glory. That's from my book club. Um, my nonfiction book club, and then just personally, I just started reading uh, Eleanor by David Michaelis. Don't have anything going on in audiobook yet. I might end up going audiobook for The Kingdom, The Power, and The Glory. And um, I also have another project. If you saw my um, my new project video, um, it's actually an old product project that I've resurrected, and that is reading or getting through all 100 of the PBS Great American Read books. And so I've just kind of been, you know, kind of chomping at the bit to get into one of those. So Gilead by Marilyn Robinson feels kind of springy. I actually have no idea because I haven't read the book. Um, but I, I get the feeling that it's springy and it's kind of a shorter one. So that might be one um, that I could do and kind of just like knock out quickly. And then yeah, I've heard really good things about it. So I'm looking forward to reading that. I've had that one. I've had that one physically on my TBR for four or five years at this point. So anyway, that's what we're doing today. I'll take you along for the ride. So these are all the bookcases that I did yesterday. <laughs> these um, seahorses are from a party that I had a very long time ago, um, as well as this uh, submarine. It was from, it was a life aquatic themed Bill Murray movie, really good. Um, those are the DVD thingies, and then I think it's six bookshelves altogether. So it was a lot of work use the dolly almost tipped them over multiple times and my back doesn't feel awesome but they're in here all right i got my 
helper, Charlie. We have five bags, double stacked. My big helper. Thanks, Char. That's it. Mustache. Very nice. Can I see it? So Charlie and I at the, are at the park. I'd record her, but there's a bunch of other kids. I don't want to record other people's kids, obviously. Um, we uh, did the bookstore, got made 80 bucks. The, uh, you know what? I felt really good because she was like, you have a lot of really good stuff here. She was like impressed with my book haul or my book unhaul rather. Uh, so that was good. Made 80 bucks. Went and spent some of that, a few dollars of that on hot chocolate and coffee. And then uh, over to the park. Really nice park. Like how beautiful this is behind me. Just all these old oak trees and everything. This area used to be just basically like oak tree forests before it was citrus groves. And yeah, we're gonna go get some ice cream at McDonald's when we're done here before we go home and chill. Got another car load of stuff to get rid of. I have two giant boxes of uh, like TV show box sets. Um, I've got a bunch of uh, water bottles actually. And then cause I have like a ridiculous water bottle addiction. Um, bags too, some luggage, some like really nice duffel bags, uh, backpacks, stuff like that. I mean, I literally had like half of a closet in my office full of nice bags. So those are all, those are being donated. And then the DVDs are gonna be, I'm gonna take to the place to sell. So I read a good bit of the Samurai's Garden um, last night. I have like 60, 61 pages left in this. Um, I also have just lots of big moving related plans today. So yesterday I was able to online get a storage unit at the storage unit where my parents already have a unit and it's like five minutes away. I have a ton of boxes that are currently in the living room, mostly books. And if I can get those out, then it's gonna allow me to do other things because basically we still have to, we're not just moving out, we have to get the house ready to show. And that's kind of the big push right now. And so we're gonna end up rearranging a lot of the house stuff. My parents' den is currently at the dining room that needs to be turned back into a dining room. We're gonna put this as their living room and I'm gonna go to the other room where currently the, was the library. So in order for any of that to happen, I need to move the boxes. The bookshelves are already in the garage and I was hoping to be able to borrow my aunt and uncle's truck today and just get as much of that stuff out of there as possible. The problem is it's raining and it's going to be raining all day long. It's also like in the 40s. Like it was like 75 degrees yesterday and it is 48 degrees right now and the temperature is actually dropping. The high for today was 54. I was just watching the news. The high today was 54 and that was the temperature at like, um, 6 a.m. and the temperature is dropping so anyway what i'm thinking about doing my aunt also said yeah you can borrow the truck if the battery isn't dead because they haven't driven it in a while it's not like it's not one of the primary vehicles and so i'm thinking well with the rain i'm just going to use my mom's van and then i can get just do boxes and maybe maybe i don't end up doing shelves maybe i do at least some of them i think i could do by myself i don't know if i could do the billy bookcases honestly by myself my, by myself, but my parents' bookshelves I could. Um, anyhow, so that I think is gonna be the plan for the day, but I'm not ready to get started. It's like eight, what time is it? It's 8.35 right now. I'm not ready to start that right now. I'm just kind of thinking in my head like around 10. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, read the Samurai Garden. Maybe, maybe I'll finish the Samurai's Garden before I get on with anything else. But the plan for is for today to be a very productive day. And I think I'll see what's available on Libby. Maybe there's just something that just seems like fun that I can listen to. Otherwise, I think I might end up getting the kingdom, the power, and the glory on Audible. On this beautiful, cloudy, rainy day, we have a van. I mean, nearly, nearly full. These are all the boxes that are packed so far. 99% of these are books after the purge. Tower O boxes. Empty vehicle. Rainy Aaron. Wet Aaron. Six forty-five PM. I got one more load to put into the storage unit. Uh, we I did the took I took on the oh, that's dirty looking. Oh that's the okay, it's wet. Um anyway, I tackled the kitchen, left some stuff still, haven't done like the 
dishes that we used, but I did like pots and pans and I got rid of like, I had so many just terrible pans that just weren't on stick and just sucked. Um, and so I got rid of a whole bunch of stuff and yeah, made really good progress. My back is not looking forward to doing this, but this is gonna be the last bit for the day. My mom's ordering pizza. I'll pick that up and I'll just chill for the rest of the night. And done. My back hurts, I am ready to eat, but the van is empty and so is my stomach. All right, it's uh, Sunday afternoon, 2.30 on the dot. I was just chewing ice. My mouth was a little frozen. <laughs> it feels funny. It feels funny to talk. Anyway, um, just like easy, chill morning. And I went and had a massage. My back and feet, man, my tongue is really frozen. My back and feet were just killing me. Like plantar fasciitis is kind of rearing its ugly head. Um, and just from all the manual labor I've been doing really feeling it in my back as well so went for a massage it was a very um <laughs> the place I went it's called footy Rudy and I've seen it around there's a couple locations nearby and I don't know if they think it rhymes or what but I'm like is it footy Rudy is that how you are supposed to say it I'm not sure but anyway uh, it was a Korean massage place, and it was really good. I'd never experienced it, like, a massage like that before. Uh, it was really, really good. It was, like, the first 40 minutes was focused on mostly my back um, with a little bit of, like, the whole back of my body, and then I flipped over, um, and then most, the second half was mostly on my legs, a little bit on my neck. But there was this, like, portion of the table where, it, like, he, like, I scooted down on the table and he pulled out the section where there was like an extension of the table and then there was like this part where I like put my legs like bent my legs down and there was like a tub of hot water and so as he's working my neck my lower legs and feet are just like soaking in this hot water and so then he's working on my neck while that's going on and then when he's done with my neck he pulls that out dries off my legs and feet and then works works on my lower legs and feet. It was really cool like totally unexpected like there's literally like a container of hot water in the bed like in the massage bed it was crazy anyway so that was really nice and then I just went over and um, my local watering hole here was having a, a special for the masters the golf masters today is the the final day of that um, so I went and had a beer and um, a sandwich for that and I also finished up the samurai's garden so I had I think 30 pages left to finish today. I just really, really enjoyed this book. It is just very soft, quiet. Kate Howe recently did a series called 100 Life Softening Books, and I would call this a life softening book. So, you know, even though we have the term samurai there, it feels very warrior-esque. Uh, there's no, there's no, hmm, I was going to say there's no violence or fighting. There's a war going on, but that is very much in the background of what is happening in the actual story. Garden is much more, uh, this is much more of a garden book than it is a fighting book. So we have Stephen is a, I think he's 19 when the story starts. He's 19 year old with tuberculosis. He is Chinese, but his family is quite well off. And his, uh, his family has a summer home in Japan, like on the coast of Japan. They have a caretaker there, Matsu who takes care of the house. He lives there year round. And Steven is sent to this summer home and to Matsu to recover from tuberculosis. And he spends a year there. So we're spending a year with Steven in this small town, um, in this small coastal town in Japan. And with, with Matsu, Matsu's garden, he's a very, he's a very good gardener. And it's just, we go, he goes from the the, the the chaos of living in Hong Kong to uh, and being in a war-torn country. Japan is attacking China all throughout this novel. We're getting every now and then we're getting updates on in into the just the basically what new city has Japan taken essentially at this time. 
we have our main character is Chinese. Essentially, all of the side characters are Japanese because as we are in Japan, particularly Matsu and then a friend of his who lives in a leprosy colony, um, Sachi. And it's just a really quiet story about the relationship between Steven and Matsu, Matsu and Sachi, Steven and Sachi. Uh, there's a, a Japanese girl, Keiko, who, uh, who Steven, um, you know, kind of becomes infatuated with while he's there and kind of the ups and downs of that relationship, the complexities of the fact that he's Chinese and she's Japanese and they are currently at war. It was just beautiful and it really reminded me of just the in, in tone and especially in tone, but even a little bit in theme of the remainder of the day, the remains of the day by Kazuo Ishiguro. In that case, war becomes kind of a part of the story, but it's not the main, the central start part of the story. Same here. Um, and of course, looking on the European front versus on the, uh, on the Asian Pacific front, but just, yeah, really beautiful story. I would read other books by Gail Tsukiyama. She's on the, in the back here. There's, um, she has several other books, um, Dreaming Water, The Languages of Threads, Women of the Silk, Night of Many Dreams, and The Street of a Thousand Blossoms, and it says that, um, Gil Tsukiyama lives between El Cerrito and Napa Valley, California. Napa is like 100 miles away from me, maybe, maybe, maybe 80 miles from me, so kind of a local author to me. So anyway, it's a uh, Sunday afternoon. Uh, my mom just called me. She needs some supplies from um, the hardware store. She needs some boxes and packing material and stuff like that. So I'm going to go grab those, come back, and probably spend the rest of the day moving, rearranging furniture, and then watching the end of the Masters as well. Okay. Here's a tour of the new house situation. So this was formerly my, you know, living room. So this is now my parents' room. That is a antique chair. Like, my mom's into antique stuff. I really don't like antique stuff. Um, but it was my great-grandma's. Those were these side tables. So that's my parents' chair. That's their... This guy... Both of these things were really difficult to move into here. Um, that's all still my stuff. That's all still my junk over there. Um, the table is gone from here. We have a little table in front that we're going to put there because this is supposed to be like an Eden kitchen situation. Okay, so it's kind of like a running joke. I've had birthday accoutrement up here for years and years. This is three different birthdays represented. Represented. The chain was literally from like 2011. I was in college. Um, happy birthday. This one was from my nephew's fifth birthday. He said he wanted hot dogs and ice cream at Titi's house. And then the 65 was for my dad's 65th birthday, which was just this last, um, yeah, this last year, this last uh, fall. Anyway, moving into here, this is just like a catch-all kind of situation. Got shelves and that stuff is to go to donate. And then this half of the room is mostly looking pretty good. Stevie is happy on his couch. Um, the dining room. The table is going to be turned the other way, but there's just a bunch of other junk in here right now. Um, but yeah, this part of the room is looking pretty good. This part of the room, however, <laughs> represents a lot of work that I need to do. Um, so I've got a bunch of books that need to be boxed up. Um, that's a pile of trash. Some other, just lots of random things. I'm going to do some buy-sell stuff on Facebook today. Um, this piano and there's a bench and a stand for it that's gonna go um the tv i'm not sure what's happening with the tv this amazing old mid-century tv console um you can't see the legs because they're covered up right now i love it but i'm not going to be taking that with me so i might do that on buy sell as well so that's kind of where we are the state the state of the state at the moment and stevie's just like what is going on why why didn't they do this forever ago? I have natural light lighting from these big windows. Like, look at this background. Like, come on, I can't believe we basically wasted this room on my niece's playroom and my dog's sitting room for years. Why didn't we do this before? Um, probably because it was a lot more work than doing it the way we did it when my parents moved in. Anyhow, 
to finish things up from a bookish perspective. Last night I finished, or I started The Mars Room by Rachel Kushner after I finished The Samurai's Garden. So I think I only made it through um, like the first chapter in this. I think not even, I'm 20 pages into this. Um, we have a uh, prisoner. And she's being transported from one place to the next as we start the, the book. We're finding out a little bit about her, like her childhood or growing up and um, and kind of where she is now. So it was kind of neat um, as a Californian because she's going between, she grew up in San Francisco. And so when she's talking about the San Francisco things, that's just a hundred miles from me. Um, so I know the city relatively well. Um, so I know where she's talking about places like that. And then she's being transported down to, um, uh, a prison somewhere in Southern California. And so she's talking about like the grapevine and the grapevine being this, which is just the mountains, um, which is kind of like the entry exit point or like the, the, the main transition area between Southern California proper and moving up to Central California to get to Northern California where San Francisco is. So don't have much to say about this yet. I, I don't actually know really what the where the story plans to go, like what the full premise is, other than I know it's like a women's prison book. That's pretty much all I know about it. Oh, that's nice with those those tulips and my orange light back there in the background. Um, so anyway, thank you for following along. Um, you know, I've, uh, I never, I never like ask for this or anything, but you know, it's always helpful if you comment, like, and subscribe. If you like what you see here, if you wanna see more, if you wanna see the rest of the, the moving saga, see what the next house looks like, and of course, see what I'm gonna read next, uh, please subscribe. Let me know if you've read any of these books or, you know, have you had amazing, terrible, anything like that, moving experiences? When was the last time you moved? Um, I've been in this house for almost 12 years, but just four years ago, I had me to move my parents. My sister moved um, into the house that we grew up in and my parents moved here um, out of that same house. So it was like a double move that we had to do. So that was just not quite four years ago. So I feel like we just moved, but I've been here for 12 years. Anyway, that's a long way of saying, thank you for watching. Remember every day is a great day for a great day, no matter what. Mm -hmm.